Hi folks, welcome back to Phil Guyman, worst time ever. Today's gonna be a little bit different. Today, we're doing a thing that I call a soul ride. Actually, it's my coach, Frank Overton, coined this term. The best way I would describe a soul ride is think about the kind of bike ride that got you to fall in love with cycling at the very beginning. This is a ride you should do at least once a month, but I'm gonna say more importantly, like the end of the season, maybe you're a little burned out, maybe you're sick of intervals, try to keep your legs moving till the last race of the year. Soul ride's different for everybody. It could be a group ride, it could be a coffee ride, it could be sprinting your friends for town line signs. For me, it's just a long solo day with a bunch of hills. No structure, no plan. Maybe I'm out for one hour, it could be six. I do have two big bottles of first endurance on the bike and a bunch of food and gels in my pocket. I'll push on the uphills, I'll coast the downhills, but mostly it's just time to think. So we're training, but I really more see these rides as a form of therapy. And that kind of brings us into today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. Uh, I have suffered some bouts of depression and anxiety. Really the first one that comes to mind when I was a kid, we're talking seventh grade and ninth grade, two separate times. Uh, I kind of just called in sick from school, told my parents I couldn't go to school because I had a headache. And that was like 30 days at a time. And I knew, you know, taking a month off of school, I knew I didn't have a headache, but I didn't know how to express what I did have. I was depressed, I figured that out years later. I'm not really sure how I got out of those depression spells. Honestly, like, I think riding a bike was a lot of it. I started riding in high school, lost 30 pounds, uh, really on accident. Pretty quick, like, my grades got better. I was a happier person, but I still get therapy. I've been doing therapy for close to 10 years now. What's up with this guy? Yeah. All right, I'll finish the BetterHelp message real quick. Uh, their mission is to make therapy cheaper and easier. Go on the website, you answer a few questions, they match you to a therapist that's good for you. If that doesn't work, you can switch around. It's all online, I'll link below. that will get you 10% off. I'm done with the ad read. I don't have to talk about that anymore, but I kind of, it gets a little cathartic. And I think people should hear it. I have a couple friends who, a couple suicides, some overdoses in the last few years, and it's one of those like, man, it was gonna be all right. Like, you didn't have to, like I said, I've been doing therapy for many years and my only regret was not doing it sooner. The first time I went, I was just having trouble sleeping. I was like stressed that I wake up at 2 a.m. with just my mind racing. And I remember the, the therapist said, uh, you know, this sounds like uh, hypervigilance. Do you have any uh, long extended periods of feeling unsafe? You know, she was thinking like childhood abuse or something. And I was like, no, but I did a rainy criterium last night. <laughs> Those years I was sleeping in my car going to bike races. All I wanted was $1,000 a month and a couple free bikes. And then I'd get that and I'd still feel stressed and anxious and I'd be like, all right, well, maybe I just need a, you know, to be on a better pro team. I never dreamed of going world tour. And then I did, I was like, cool, this is everything I've ever wanted. And I get to Girona and I'm like, wait a minute, does this suck? <laughs> of course, if you read my books, you still know, then I was like, you know, still making 50,000 a year and ultimately gonna do everything I was asked and get fired. Uh, super dangerous job. There's plenty of reasons to feel stressed and anxious. But then what about now? I ride bikes on the internet for a living. I have a great wife and dogs at home. How can I possibly be stressed? That's the thing, exactly, that's the problem. The stress isn't, there's triggers, but it's in me, it's something I have to work on. Sorry, we're done with the mental health talk. I just gotta get off my chest. Every year I do like a, the same Instagram post on mental health day, and it gets like more shares and likes and engagement than anything I do. So I feel like you just can't get out there enough. So that's here now. Anyway, so back to the soul ride. We're going up towards Payuma now. I decided we're gonna head north today. Phil's Cookie Fondo's coming up in a few weeks. I haven't seen like the northernmost stretch of kind of the Ventura County roads. All right, it gets a little remote out there, a little weird. It's always good to have a look at it as the event gets closer. All right, you might recognize this beautiful hairpin. I'm on Rock Store. Uh, headed north on Mulholland Highway. Rock Store is a section of Mulholland Highway that is still closed to cars since the fire. I think it was 17. Uh, so there's a couple spots that are damaged, but this is really an incredible oasis for cyclists. I am riding my, my older Factor O2 disc today. You're probably used to seeing my newer bikes. I mean, the sponsor's supposed to show the newest stuff, but I still have the bike they gave me in 2019. So as a pro, you get five new bikes a year and you trash them, get rid of them. I didn't know bikes could last this long, <laughs> but I still ride this one most of the time. Still 11 speed, but you know, you stay on top of replacing the chain when it gets stretched and this bike's got more years in it. All right, so I dropped down to the coast. This is a good time to give you a little lay of the land. 
and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I can't exactly declare Los Angeles to be the best place in the world to ride a bike. I will put it in the like 20 way tie. Part of that is when I say LA, I mean LA County. Uh, city of LA, not the same as here, city of Malibu. Los Angeles is like 20 miles behind me. So you've got the coast here and then the hill is to my right, we call that the hill. But what made me fall in love with LA and Malibu and what inspired me to have the, the cookie fondo here. There's a ton of climbs from the ocean side and from the valley that all connect one way or another via Mulholland. And there's no really business for cars to be here. And you can just play in these hills all day. I've been living here 10 years and I've not got bored of it. Today and on the fondo route, we take Yerba Buena, which then cuts over to Cothran, which you see down there which winds up to this. I consider this the climax of Phil's Cookie Fondo and kind of my favorite part of the Santa Monica Mountains because it's super remote, no even center line. I don't think I've ever seen more than 10 cars here. Like where the hell am I? I think that deer had the right idea. <sighs> now, there's no cafes way out here. So my lunch stop today is uh, this tamale. It's a, it's a good move. Got these at the farmer's market. Get a pack of frozen tamales, stick it in your pocket, it thaws while you ride, and then, no plastic, the wrapper is a, a corn husk. And then this is basically a coffee. We take in the views, we take deep breaths on soul rides. So we went down Deer Creek, cruised along the coast a little bit. No dolphins or whales today, sorry. Now we're going up Decker Canyon. This will be the last climb of the day. We're four and a half hours in. It'll end up being five and a half. One of the things I've taken for the last few years is learning to focus on gratitude. You retire and you're supposed to go away. They expect you to go away. And I was ready to, I was ready to get a job. But I started playing around on Strava and built a big following there right away. And you folks, folks on the internet, were something like, yeah, I don't care what those pro teams say. Uh, those guys were saying, I'm not worth anything and I should go disappear. Uh, and, and my 20s were a waste. And y'all were like, no, we, we want Phil to stay around. And that with a couple brands and or like people at brands who kind of had a vision that I didn't even then, uh, they were like, well, let's do this YouTube Strava bike riding thing. And uh, here we are, it's seven years later. So I'm gonna be going darn close to 40 years old. And uh, life is awesome. I just wanna say, I appreciate all of you folks for allowing it and making it happen and making it fun. This is almost too perfect. I just had a run in with a guy on Decker Canyon. He was on the other side of the road and was on the wrong side of the yellow, but was like literally heading towards me. I wasn't impeding him at all. And then he comes back and decides to have it out. I'm on the wrong road. Can't be on Decker Canyon. Take the cane and dipshit. So what I could do is stew on that for hours. What I'm going to do instead is put myself in his shoes, which is, this is a miserable person. This is a person who can find a way to be angry at four o'clock on a Thursday on one of the most beautiful places in the world. So I'm just gonna feel bad for him, the fact that he has to take his hostility out on someone else in public minding their own business. And uh, I've already won. There's no fight to fight because I've already won. One thing that I recommend for Soul Rise is to make it a little bit different. So I'm gonna finish at a little shopping center where uh, our buddy Mike Dimkich usually tours for Bad Religion once in a while. He kind of plays a local acoustic thing with his buddy Tim. So I'm just gonna meet me there. You know, I'll change my clothes. We're gonna have a pizza and a lovely evening. So I'm sorry this got a little emotional at times, but you know, I used to put that in a book so I haven't written a book for a while. So I had to, I had to get out of my system. I'm gonna end it with, you know, a lot of times you say like, subscribe and watch the next, don't watch my next video. You know, go out for a bike ride if you can, go out for a walk, get some exercise, get some sleep, do something healthy. Come out to Phil's Fondo, October 29th in Malibu. Wherever you are, whatever your soul ride is, get out and do it. Have a good one.